stool comedy show. That's right. And so Joe stole a stool. And I've asked Joe where he stole the stool from. He won't tell me. I think he's worried about the statute of limitations. <laughs> but my entire life, I had thought if you stole something and then you did it later, it was stolen. Stolen is not a word. <laughs> I literally looked that up on Google today. So you can learn something every day. Um, I almost think I need to stick up for dads. I mean, what the hell? Um, I've got some good advice. I don't know how you feel about your dad. But uh, I'll give you some advice. Quit expecting so fucking much. <laughs> I mean, if you looked at the minimum qualifications of father dumb, uh, it don't take much. So what in the hell do you expect? One day somebody just says, here, take care of this baby. And, uh, you know, if, if we annoy you because we're giving you advice, based on every stupid fucking mistake we've made. And we want to save you the same outcome, because we love you so much. And if you want to ignore that, fuck you. <laughs> um, the, the older I've gotten, you know, I, I've kind of figured out a lot of stuff. You know, but there's still some things in life that baffle me. Um, I, I don't understand these people that shake babies. It doesn't make sense to me. Because when you shake the baby, doesn't it cry louder? So it seems counterproductive. But I guess these guys really think it through because they know if they shake it long enough, it'll get quiet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now, our, our middle child was... Uh, what the hell is the thing called when they cry a lot? Kelly? Colic. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. And uh, I never wanted to shake him. I love him. Um, we put him in the swing in his bedroom and walk out of the room. And if his cry was really annoying, we'd uh, close the door. <laughs> now I, I think that's fair. <laughs> I've been married for thirty-eight years. Come, come. I don't want to tell you guys how, how to act. Man, 38 years, you, you, you got to give me something. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? And that's right. It's the crazy that keeps us together <laughs> through the years. Um, now, my wife is trying to be supportive of my, we'll call it a comedy hobby, uh, but she's getting a little bit annoyed. She doesn't understand why we have to take a limousine to every show. <laughs> And I said, you want to be a star, you got to act like a star. <laughs> um, I reflect a little bit. You know, what was it that initially attracted her to me? Was it my dreamy eyes, my, my sense of humor, you think? No, she took one look at me and she said, I can fix that. <laughs> and after about 38 years of fixing me, I'm, I'm pretty close to being done. And I'm worried she's less attracted to me. I hope not. Yeah, through our marriage, lots of projects. Oh, God, lots of projects. Project this, project that. It's always a team team activity with me and my wife. Uh, she's the coach, and I play all the positions. <laughs> she's, a good, she's a good coach. Um... Yeah, you, you got to learn how to fight fair, right? You guys can't fight. You got to fight fair. What, what the hell does that mean? I mean, men, we are cognitively insufficient and emotionally intelligent not, that will never, ever win a fight. Never. So, ladies, when you're fighting with this, fight fair. Because basically, you're fighting with a retarded kid. <laughs> Give me no bullshit. <laughs> um, so when you when you walk in the bathroom and the lid's up, and it's not like he ignored you, 
the hundred times you told them to put it down. Because if we can remember it and do it, we would avoid a lot of fights. So just remember, we're not doing it intentionally. We're stupid. <laughs> Another thing I learned was when you fight, never use the C word. Don't use that C word because it doesn't matter what is going on. If you drop a C bomb, it's your fault. <laughs> Earlier in our marriage, walked into the bedroom, called my wife with her boyfriend, <laughs> dropped a C bomb. <laughs> And I was making them breakfast in bed. <laughs> Don't worry, we're still married. I've got a better job than he did. And I make a hell of an omelet. <laughs> okay, Curtis, just like I promised you a little advice for the, the newly married guy. I'll try to save you hours and hours of just discussions and arguments and just stupidness. Because as men, we need to fight every single basic instinct we have. Resist it. Okay, thousands of times over the course of your marriage, your wife's gonna come up and talk to you about a good idea. Have I got a great idea? Now our instinct is to think about how much is this good idea gonna cost us and uh, how much work is it going to take? But I've got some advice for you. You say, honey, sounds good to me. Let's talk about it later. Okay, so what's that mean? Well, 50% of the time, she'll forget what she wanted to talk to you about. If you're married, right? 25% of the time, you'll agree with what she's saying. And then you just postponed and reduced your fights down to 25%. So that, that works out pretty good. Uh, the other thing is when your wife gets upset, you know, our instinct is to be strong, be calm, solve the problem for her. Oh. <laughs> I mean, immediately, if you're calm and she's upset, you're not on her team. <laughs> That fuels the fire. Um, so the solution is, when she gets upset, you get more upset. You know, you're at a restaurant, they see some people ahead of you, and your wife's upset. What do you do? Oh, it's okay, I'll go up and look into that for us and come back calmly and say, well, you know. No, you get more upset than her. You say, damn it, I'm gonna walk up and grab that hostess. And then you stand up and she grabs your arm and says, no, honey, it's not that bad. <laughs> um, one more real quick one, procrastination. Does, does anybody here suffer from procrastination? Yeah. Who doesn't? So as I got older, I thought, you know, I'm gonna take something I hate to do, put it with something I'd like to do, and maybe we'll get it done. So I hate, to go to the gym, but I love to drink. So the other day I went to the gym wasted. Uh, went over the treadmill, got on top of the treadmill, set it for two miles per hour, I thought, but apparently it was 20. Jumped on the uh, treadmill, flew off back, hit my head, and when I woke up, they were writing me a ticket for a TUI. But the good news is I don't have to treadmill for either. <laughs> uh, I don't like to I don't like to ice skate but I, I like to be naked so that's not a bad thing but if you're out there ice skating and you fall and have you ever put your tongue on something and had a stick because it was so cold well you fall down on the ice skates naked you're, you're screaming for a, some lukewarm water to get things done and lastly I do not like to clean the house. But I do like to masturbate. And I'll let you visualize that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Great job. He does it the same way I do it. <laughs> All right.